morning and happy Sunday. Uh, we are now bringing you another episode of the J Rambo 745 Little Platoon channel. And happy new year to those of you who um, are subscribing to my channel or the first time here. Welcome. Um, so, my first knife review for the new year, I wanted to talk about this particular knife right here. This is a knife made by K-Bar. And this is, I'm not mistaken, this is the Marine Raider or the, or the Marine Recon as the, it's the Recon or their version of the Recon knife. And if you really want to look at it, and aesthetically, this knife is basically a modified version of the Ontario knife um m9 bayonet knife that the marine corps uses only instead of a bayonet it is a knife and i've had this one for a while um as you can see it looks brand new but believe me i've had this for a while um it's got the pummel it's got the tang just like you would in a, in a regular k-bar knife and um yeah it's got the serrated edges as well if I'm not mistaken, this knife is made from 1095 carver steel. And it's coated with the black coating that you see on this um, to prevent it from rusting. And it's got the, uh, it's got like a leathery, well not leathery, but it's like a rubbery uh, handle. Now, there's nothing wrong with this knife. This knife can do the job of a K-Bar. I mean, it's made from K-Bar. Uh, it's pretty strong, pretty sturdy, uh, sharp out of the box. But, you know, it's one of those knives that, you know, I wanted to make a an updated version of this particular knife. And I reached out to my good buddies over at the Cookery House in KKHI, Nepal, to make me one. They actually made me two versions of it. Um, which I'm going to showcase in just a few. Um, of course, this is 1271. It is production based, uh, mass produced by K Bar in Olean, New York. Um, yeah, without further ado. Also, I want to talk about the sheet that this stuff comes with. Now, the knife is great. But this sheath is a piece of junk. It's a pile of garbage. I do not like this. I, I, I'm not a fan of this sheath at all. It just looks cheaply made. Um, it looks like someone just... I don't know. I don't want to be insulting, but this sheath is... No bueno in my book. Which is a little bit insulting because it, you know, this is a fairly good knife. And I really like this knife. Um, but, I said to myself, I'm going to go, since I like this knife so much, I'm going to make the Cookery House make me their version of this very same knife. Now this, unlike like the other K-Bar knives that you're used to seeing, this has a stick tang on it if you can see it it has a stick tang right there and I can't move it if I pry it and move it this way or that way it'll move so one of the first knives I'm gonna I had the cookie house make me back in the winter is this bad boy right here this is the recon one from the cookie house KKGI Nepal and I had to specifically made me this with the Chak Mac and the Carta knife, which you see here, with the Marine Corps emblem right there. A authentic leather sheath, well stitched, well made, as you can see. It's got the cross strap right here. It's got another strap here. And it's got the rings so you can put a lanyard or paracord here. Of course, you got the belt loop here. 
but without a further ado, let's show you the knife, which is what you guys are here to see. This is the Recon 1 from the Cookery House, KK China Paul, USMC Recon. Why did I call this the Recon knife? Because, as I mentioned previously before in the video before, I mentioned that I wanted to be a Marine Sniper. I never got the opportunity to do it because I got injured and hurt. But, if I wanted to be a, if I wanted to get into Recon, the first thing I would have done was go into Sniper School, get my training there. And then come out of that, do my time as a scout sniper, and then come back into and put in a request to become recon force. Or I could have done it vice versa. This is the recon knife one. This is a, look at look at the size comparison compared to this one. I'm gonna show you something. Boom! Are you kidding me? This knife right here. Makes this knife look like a pipsqueak. So, if you want a size comparison between the two, this one, the the one, the recon version of the K, the K bar version of the recon knife, it's a pretty lengthy knife. It's about twelve and seven eighths in total length, with a blade length of. Eight inches and a handle length of five inches. So the extra, I guess, quarter inch is the handle. This handle is a pip squeak compared to the handle this one has. Look how much thicker that is. <clears throat> now, granted, my recon force knives does not have the serrated edges, but that's because you gotta remember something. KK China Paul makes their knives hand forged, so it's very tricky for them to make the serrated edge that you see on here. But for a knife like this, you don't need it. Um, but yeah, very, very uh, big, big size difference between the two. So, as I mentioned, this thing is just about uh, 12 and 7 eighths total length. The thickness on this blade is I want to say a little bit over one eighth of an inch and it tapers all the way from there so this one eighth of an inch and it tapers all the way down to the tip right there so it gets thinner and thinner and thinner and as I mentioned before this knife is a thick tank so if I decide to put my hand here and pry it this way or this way it will move that's just the, the many drawbacks of the K-Bar knife, or K-Bar knife design knives. Plus, it's also got a very crappy sheath. I'm sorry, K-Bar, but that's just me speaking from the heart. Compared to this one, this is a, you know what they say, crocodile Dundee. You want, you want to see a knife, this is a knife, Mike. So... <clears throat> I'm going to show you the length of this knife. This knife is about 16 and a half inches in length. That's how long this knife is. It's about three inches longer, three and a half inches longer. The width of the blade, it's about two and one eighth of an inch widthwise from the spine to the tip of the blade here going across like that and the thickness is a quarter of an inch and much like it it does taper down but even at the most tapered part of it it's in one eighth of an inch the same thickness as the biggest thickness of this knife is the thinnest on this one now one thing I will talk about 
And just to give you the size of the length of the blade itself, the total knife is 16 and a half. The blade length is about 10 and 7 eighths. And the handle's about 5 and 3 eighths with a guard thickness of Wow, it's a quarter inch. Big, beefy, chunky blade. <clears throat> I would take this with me if I was stationed over in the Middle East in Iraq. I would definitely have this on me. Now, as I was going to say earlier, um, I love the way they made this handle. This handle fits perfectly in my hand. And I love the fact that it's ridged. You see these little ridges right here? These are, so whenever your hand sweats, the sweats will drip down those, um, I, I guess you could say, uh, lines. But I don't need to put tennis tape or anything like that to get a good, I mean, this knife has a really good grip. It's a big, beefy, chunky blade. Very well balanced. And, yeah. I'm definitely digging this knife. Um, definitely digging it. Definitely, definitely loving it. The pummel on this knife is killer. This is one solid metal piece. This is not going anywhere. Like all the other knives that the Cookie House ma the Cookie House makes, it's full tang. Full tang. All wielded in. The guard is wielded into the blade. This is not going anywhere. They actually also put in a little paracord hole here. Where I can stick a paracord on my blade. But overall, this is definitely a knife worth uh, checking out at the cookie house. Um, just go into the cookie house. Now, it's not on their... This knife that I'm holding in my hand is not on their website. I custom ordered this. From the cookery house so if you want one just like this um, I'll leave the link below to the cookery house uh, because they don't have an actual picture of this knife just go to the cookery house there's a customer service um, email form or questionnaire that you can go in there and you can ask the customer service rep hey I saw J Ramble 745's Blady Platoon channels um, review on the recon knife and I want to dig one of these another thing I mentioned about the recon knife is look at the actual lines that they put on this blade is exactly like you would see it on the k-bar knife I don't know if the camera can see those lines but these are the lines that you would see on the same exact um, on this one uh, I'm trying to be careful not to cut my finger. The exact same lines. So they matched it almost identically. They just made it a bigger, beefier knife. <clears throat> Which is great. I love big and beefy knives. So definitely worth a checkout on this blade. Um, well balanced for a knife this size. Very well balanced. Um, I can put my finger on it like that. Yeah, that's a well balanced knife. Love it. I'm digging it. Rosewood handle. You can also get it in Mercada if you want to. Um, I prefer ro rosewood because this is going to be a workhorse of a knife. And I can guarantee you that this knife will do the work. Um, very well done. Very well made blade. I love it. They put the USMC and Recon. Um, branding on this knife black powder coated but the handle I can't say enough about the handle this handles great love it I can stab cut twirl it and it doesn't kill my wrist um, definitely worth a check out again the knife is not on the website because 
Um, this is a custom order made knife, but if you want one just like this, go into the cookeryhouse.com. Go into their little messenger form and tell them, hey, I saw J Ramble 745's Blade of Two Channels uh, knife review on the recon um, knife, and I want to get one. Um, I don't, I can't remember how much they priced this for me, but you know, it, it, it wouldn't hurt to ask to see how much they would charge you for it. Uh, I want to say it's about 154. Um, that's with the engravings and everything on it, um, and with the uh, Western leather sheath, which I'm about to show you. The Western leather sheath. I custom ordered this Western leather sheath for myself. Um, you don't have to get it like this. You can get a regular old Western custom leather sheath, or not. You can get the regular sheath that they would normally recommend for you guys. Um, and just like the knife, the, the check mac and the Carter knives are black coated. So one knife, of course, is used to sharpen your blade and start and cause a spark to make fires. The other one is used for cutting and pelting um, whenever you're on a hunt. So I did that for my own benefit. Um, you don't have to do it that way if you don't want to. You, if you just want the knife. Go for it. I just did it for me. Um, but yeah. Um, this is definitely worth a look see. Mm -hmm. And again, I cannot praise the Cookery House enough for making a very good Western leather sheath. When it comes to making these kinds of sheaths, the Cookery House owns it. They're just good at it. And they also brand them now. So if you want to brand it with the Eagle Globe and Anchor, go for it. If not, that's okay too. Alright, so that is the Recon 1 knife. Sorry, it's a brand new knife. Now I'm going to show you the Recon Numero Dos. And I added that in there. But it's almost the same thing. Western Leather Sheaf, same exact style, Chack Mac and Carter Blades. But to make it different, I told the Cookie House to make the knife just a little bit smaller with the handle a little bit different, more rounded, to give you a different option. And this is the regular polishing that they do. And it's got the Eagle Globe and Anchor right there. It says Marine Recon 2. Uh, because it's, this is the second variation. Um, I was gonna do individual videos on these knives, but I kind of figured, let's do them together, since we're going to talk about these blades anyway. The pommel's still the same. Um, I mean, dude, there's no nice way to get hit with this. If you get hit with this upside your head, you're, I'm, bra I'm fracturing your skull with this. The only difference between this blade and that blade, really, it's really the same blade, it's just the length is different, is this handle's more rounded. But it's a speedier knife. And it's still well balanced. I'm, I'm surprised, despite the handle being rounded, that it's still as balanced as it is. You know? Uh, for the, the Cookery House just does an amazing job owning these knives. They just do. They just know how to make a really well, good, forge, hand forged knife. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you the length of this blade this was a little bit smaller this is about 14 and 7 eighths of an inch but a couple inches shorter the blade width from spine to tip of the edge we're talking one and five eighths 
and wit. Blade thickness. Just a little bit over a quarter of an inch. And it does taper down just like the other ones do. As you can see. So at the very shortest uh, thickness, yeah, it's about one eighth of an inch still. <clears throat> the blade length from here to here, nine and just a little bit over nine and three quarters. And the handle is about just a little bit over five and three eighths. And the thickness of the guard quarter of an inch. So it is still, despite it being smaller, it is still a very beefy blade. You can't go wrong with either one of them. I just decided to make it look like this. And it's got the lines. And you could probably see that more visibly. Just like the, the other one does. And you could custom engrave it. I did mine with the Eagle Globe and Anchor. And I did that with, with the Recon Force number two. The only thing they did different was the actual handle itself. They made the handle more rounded for this one. Where the other one was more kind of like it, it, it would curve. If you see the handle on this one is just a little different. I don't know if you can see that. But this one's more rounded on the guard, on the handle, than this one. I prefer my handles being this style because it's just easier to grip for me but not everybody's hands are the same you may very well do better with a knife like this that's more rounded i prefer my my blades more tapered like this on the handle i just love the handle on this one it's nothing wrong with the handle on this one either much like it's much like the number one the recon number twos uh, handle is just grippable. I mean, there's um, it's not flying out of my hand or nothing. Um, and much like the number one, it's got the hole in here so you can put the paracord in there. So either or is fine. Um, but yeah, that is the knife review for the Marine Recon One and Marine Recon Two from the Cookery House. Much like the Recon One, this knife is not. In the catalog on their website this is custom ordered if you want one just like this one or the or the first one I just showed you you would have to go into the cookeryhouse.com go into their messenger forum or email them and let them know hey I just saw J Rambo 745 blade of the tunes channel yes my channel is very tongue-twisting um, I just said I just saw the J Rambo 745 uh, YouTube channel and um, I saw the knife review on the Recon 1 and 2. I would like either one or the other, or both. Um, I don't know what they're pricing them at. I believe this one is 156 Um, you would have to ask. But, again, um, same blade. Just different sizes. This one, of course, has got the regular polish. This one's got the black coating on it that they do over there. The size is just a little bit lengthier on this one. And this one's just a little bit shorter. But can't go wrong with either or. Um, and if you want them to put the micarta in your lever sheave, you want them to put the Chack Mac and Carta knives, go for it. Especially if you like going out in the woods and hunting like I do. I highly recommend it. But. Uh, other than that. Yeah. These knives are. They're, uh, I, the reason why I'm showcasing both of these blades. Is because. 
I have such a passion for the United States Marine Corps. Me being a prior service Marine and being a current Texas State Guard member, I have such a love and admiration for the Marine Corps and for what they do and what they represent and what they stand for. Uh, Semper Fidelis, Semper Fi, which is tattooed on my arm right there. Semper Fidelis with the Eagle Globe. Is Latin for always faithful. Um, and that's what Marines are. We're always faithful to the cause that we do. We are sea warriors. And we have been that way for the last 243 years. And we'll continue to keep going on. Uh, so other than that, um, you have watched the J Ramble 745 Blade of Platoon channel. Uh, wishing you guys a happy afternoon. And um, I'm going to watch some uh, some NFL football later this evening. And uh, other than that, if you guys are uh, liking the content on my channel, please subscribe and share and like uh, for the algorithm. And with that being said, have a very happy afternoon, and I'll see you in the next episode.